Hello to all that are tuning in on this beautiful Tuesday evening. We want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. To God be the glory for all things that He's already done, and to God be the glory for things that He's going to do in your life. We are so welcoming, welcoming you on tonight's radio broadcast. I am built for this ministry radio show with your radio host, Minister Robin Williams. And so we're so excited to be back here. Hit that share button. Let somebody know we're here sharing a message to God's people throughout the world. God bless you and enjoy. Welcome to I Am Built for This Ministries. I am your host once again for the evening, Minister Robin Williams, out of the city of Garner, North Carolina. I would like to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, first of all, who's the head of my life. I would like to send a special shout out to the most amazing pastors, in my opinion, Pastor David and Melissa Moore, and the members of Reaping the Harvest Christian Church, which is also located in Garner, North Carolina. I would like to say thank you to Pastor Brenda Downey and the members of New Restoration Conference Ministries for always praying and being there for me as well. I would like to thank all my faithful and loyal listeners who take the time out of their busy schedule to come and hear what God has for them every week, as well as me. Thanks to Pastor Nino Ackridge and TMA Broadcast. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. You alone are worthy, O oh God. God, you are Alpha. You are Omega. You're the beginning and the end, O oh God. And God, I thank you that this is the day that you have made, O oh God. And we have we will rejoice and be glad in it. 
So, God, I just want to thank you right now, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper on this evening, oh God. God, as I sit down, oh God, and decrease, oh God. God, I thank you right now, oh God, that you will increase in me. God, I give you permission to do what you need to do. Say what you need to say. Use me as your mouthpiece, oh God. <coughs> so God, I thank you right now, oh God, for every listener, oh God, that will listen to the word on this evening, oh God. And I also thank you right now, oh God, for those that will listen for the to the replay, oh God. God, I thank you that they will not just be hearers, oh God, but they will be doers of the word in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, I thank you in advance for the testimonies that will come forth, oh God. God, I thank you right now, oh God. God, I thank you for those that need to be healed, oh God, in their bodies, oh God, and in their minds, oh God. God, we call them healed because your word states by your stripes, oh God, that they're healed and delivered. So, God, I thank you right now, oh God, that even for Pastor Nino in the name of Jesus and his family in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, I thank you that no weapon forged against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for his church family as well in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you right now, oh God, even for every pastor, oh God, every five-fold ministry, oh God, that will continually, oh God, to sound the alarm, oh God. So, God, I thank you right now, and I say a special prayer over my pastors in the name of Jesus, oh God. Continue to bless them, oh God, and the members of Reaping the Harvest Christian Church. <clears throat> so, God, we thank you and we glorify you in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Amen and amen. The subject that God gave me and that stuck in my spirit was, it's time to sound the alarm. It's time to sound the alarm. I will be coming out of the text this evening from the book of Numbers, chapter 10, verse 9. That's Numbers chapter 10, verse 9. I'm going to be reading first out of the King James Version, and then I will be reading out of the NLT, the New Living Translation. And it reads according to the King James Version. And if ye go to war in your land, against the enemy that oppresseth you. Then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Again, and if ye go to war, in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. It reads from the NLT version, when you arrive in your own land and go to war against your enemies who attack you, sound the alarm with the trumpets. Then the Lord your God will remember 
you and rescue you from your enemies. When you arrive in your own land and go to war against your enemies who attack you, sound the alarm with the trumpets. Then the Lord your God will remember you and rescue you from your enemies. Now, everyone knows that Minister Robin loves words, and I love to look up the meanings of them. So I took the time out to look up a few words on for this evening. And the first word, of course, that I looked up was war. What does war really mean? And according to the dictionary, it means a conflict carried on by force of arms as between nations or between parties within a nation. Again, it means a conflict carried on by force of arms as between nations or between parties within a nation. Enemies, anyone who is against you and your goals that you may have. Sound. Simply means something heard when it reaches an individual. Something heard when reach when it reaches a person's ear. Alarm means as following. Any sound, outcry, or information intended to warn of an approaching danger. Any sound, outcry, or information intended to warn of an approaching danger. God, with his good self, wants us to sound the alarm when we're in trouble and not try to work it out ourselves. That's when we get in trouble. The question you may have, well, Minister Robin, how do I sound the alarm? That's a wonderful question, and I'm so glad that you asked that question. The way that you sound the alarm is by praying, giving all your burdens and situations over to God. Now, let me be transparent on this evening. I'm going to be the first to let you know that at one time that it was, and let me be honest, sometimes it is still hard for me to sound the alarm because I wanted to fix the situation myself. But there was times when I had some issues with some family, some friends, and I just didn't understand why in the world was I being attacked? Why were they plotting against me? <clears throat> and if you know this, a lot of times, those 
enemies, may not even like each other, but they conspire to try to derail you. The mission, the assignment that God has given you both <clears throat> naturally and spiritually. And it's for no apparent reason to you. But then what I had to realize is it's really not those individuals that are the enemy against me. It is the devil and they're allowing the devil to use them and they don't even know it. So what I begin to say is, God, I can't fix this. I give it all to you, oh God. And God, every time, shows favor to me in that situation. One of my spiritual mothers says, favor is not fair, but it's show is fabulous. Meaning, because you have sounded the alarm, God has rescued you from the enemy's plots and traps. Isn't it good to know that God loves you that much to rescue you? So, what in your life that you need to sound the alarm for? What personal situation, what spiritual battle you're going through that you need to let God rescue you from? Because God will supply all your needs and riches and in glory. Whether it is sickness in your body, how are you going to pay your bills? Just sound the alarm and God will rescue you every time. You are a kingdom ambassador. You are a kingdom citizen. And God loves you enough to make sure that no hurt, harm, or danger come upon you. So let me encourage you to always stay in the word of God. Study to show yourself approved so that you will have ammunition to sound alarm whenever you may go through something. You can always use Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because I know that God has my back. He will never fail me. So the word says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So we know that the Lord with his good self is good because he's rescuing us because we have sounded the alarm. So, as my brothers and sisters give an advanced praise on the fact that because you have sounded the alarm, you are secure in the arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope that this word impacted you and blessed you as it blessed me as I was studying and researching it because anyone who ministers the word knows that the word should first hit you so it hit me and I am going to continually sound the alarm and not just for what I'm going through but sound the alarm to let my brothers and sisters know that they can stand. Those that haven't been saved or 
does not know the Lord in the pardon of their sins, I am inviting you to accept God into your heart and into your spirit so that you can go get your inheritance, the blessings that God has for you. By simply saying, Lord, forgive me of all my sins, oh God. God, I invite you into my heart. God, I thank you right now for forgiving me of, of all my sins. And it's just that simple. You're saved. I hope and pray that you will reach out to a church in your area that teaches the word of God so simple that a child can understand. It's good to fellowship with one another so that you can continually sound the alarm. God, I thank you for this evening. God, I thank you right now, oh God, for the word that was delivered on this evening, oh God. God, I thank you for everyone that heard it in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you right now, oh God, that it has strengthened those that are weak. In Jesus' name, amen. I have a few announcements that I would like to give you on this evening. First of all, you can join me right here on TMA Broadcast for I Am Built for This Ministries every Tuesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. You can follow me on Facebook under I Am Built for This Ministries and my own personal page, Robin Michelle Williams and Robin is R-O-B-B-I-N Also, I'm on Instagram. If you have any prayer requests, you can inbox me through I Am Built for This Ministries on Facebook as well as you can send it to I am built for this ministries at gmail.com. I am built for this ministries at gm at gmail.com. Also, I am so excited to invite you to the reopening of the church building of Reaping the Harvest Christian Church in Garner, North Carolina. We're going back into the building, y'all, and we're so excited. We'll be going back on the first Sunday in June, and our services begin at 11 o'clock a.m. There is always a word from the Lord from Pastor David and Valissa Moore. And I have to give a special shout out to our anointed praise and worship team. If you're looking for a church home, please come and join us. Also, Currently, we're on Facebook Live every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock a.m. We're being taught about how to be an ambassador in the series of Ambassador Orientation. Also, we have Bible app every Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 Central Standard Time. And we're in the Zoom room, so if you like that information, you can call, contact the church, Chis Facebook page, or me 
and we'd be glad to make sure that you get it. We're studying on angels, and it is something that is amazing. So, those are the announcements that I have at the moment. I will see you next week. May God bless you. Much love to everyone. Have a good evening. You have been listening to Minister Robin Williams on I Am Built for This Radio Ministry radio show. We want to thank God for all of you tuning in on this evening. We hope that something said, something blessed you and abundantly. We know that God is still good. And we just thank and praise him for all that he's doing in your life and what he's going to do in your family's life. We say peace and blessings to each and every one of you. We say God bless you and may heaven smile upon uh, you. Join us back here next Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 8 p.m. Central. This means war. Come on, get your war clothes on. Get your war shoes on. Amen. Let's go. This means, this means war.
got to say. This means more. You can't be breaking down and falling out. This means more. You're going to break out your prayer. Break out your word. This means more. You're going to break out some praise. This means more. Last time. This means more. Will somebody clap your hands. It's a wrap. That's all you got, that's all you got, that's all you got.